in familiar territory since 2006. The Red Dragons have been outstanding. The 06 national champs, four straight national title appearances, three conference championships, 13 and two in the NCAA tournament, but two straight disappointing losses to Salisbury the past two seasons. And Cortland wants to get another national championship here today. They head to the locker room tied 4-4 with Gettysburg. And now we're joined by Cortland head coach Steve Bevel. Coach Jason Chandler, Paul Carcaterra upstairs. Your thoughts on your team's performance the first half? Well, a little shaky there right off the start, you know. Uh, I think we uh, broke down a couple times on defense and, uh, you know, a couple guys uh, uh, were a little excited, went after the ball a couple times. Uh, Gettysburg took advantage on it on a roll there with McGrath and then uh, one on the backside there when our guy took his eye off the uh, cutter. But the uh, second quarter, we really came on there, stopped him. Coach Paul Carcatara, great first half. I look at this Joey Morgan, Tommy Keo matchup, best against the best. Do you go after Keo or do you use Morgan in different sets? Because I think you do need your senior midfielder to get into the mix. No question. Joe's been an integral part of our offense all year, and we're going to continue to try to use him. And, uh, you know, you got to make Keel work, too. You can't just uh, you know, keep him off ball all the time. you got to make him work, use his legs a little bit, and, you know, we'll keep after it the second half. Coach, thanks very much, and good luck in the second half. All right, boys. That's Steve Bevel, head coach of the Portland Red Dragons. We are at the half. Division Three National Championship game, all tied at four. Looking forward to that matchup, but we have a good one right here in the Division Three National Championship game. 4-4, Gettysburg and Cortland. More after this from Foxborough. The NCAA Division Three Men's Lacrosse Championship on CBS College Sports is brought to you by AT&T. Your world delivered. Matt McConnell, thank you very much. Jason Chandler, Paul Carcaterra upstairs as Cortland heads back out onto the field. They are tied with Gettysburg. 4-4 start of the third quarter of the Division III National Championship game. Cark, great back and forth first half. It started with Gettysburg. Well, Gettysburg came out roaring. O'Donnell gets Reichert involved early on in action. They started believing in each other early on. That's a nice take by McGrath. And Birchman on the other side making huge saves. Cortland finally got going with Joey Morgan feeding to the fantastic freshman Tota. And Mesiak right there sticks in that low angle shot, all tied up at four. You see the numbers here in terms of statistics. Shot advantage for Cortland, and of course that face-off number 7-3 in favor of the Red Dragons. Cortland also winning the ground ball war. Well, we have Cortland and Gettysburg in this D3 National Championship game, but one familiar face not here this afternoon. With more on that, let's send it back to Matt. Yeah, Jason, I mean, you guys are almost melancholy. You know, not, take nothing away from Gettysburg. What about Salisbury? I mean, they have been here, it seems like, every single year. They've had such a great run. I mean, you think back to the matchups that they've had with Cortland. In 2003, they defeated Middlebury to win the championship. They got by Nazareth in that 13-9 game in 2004 with the Gatorade bath. And then you go back to 2005, Middlebury again in a one-goal thriller. Jim Berkman's team has been absolutely tremendous. And then the runs against Cortland. They defeated Cortland not once, but how about twice here at Foxborough in the 1913 game last season. So it is a little bit weird not to see the maroon and gold of Salisbury. Jim Berkman nowhere to be found. It's, uh, it's a little weird, isn't it? It's not to see Salisbury here, I'll tell you. Cortland's probably a little happy not to see Salisbury here at Clark after those two straight defeats, but that Salisbury program is a shot, and it is very strange to be here on this Sunday of Memorial Day weekend in the NCAA Lacrosse Championships and not see Salisbury.